back to Java Beginner series. We have seen what number class functions are and what character class function are in the previous videos. Now in this video, we'll talk about strings. See, we all work with strings day in and day out. In our basic programming, when we are typing something on the screen, we are taking input from the user, we all use strings, right? So it's very essential to get basic hold of what a string is and what string class functions are. So let's start. Now you might have used strings before while using other programming languages or read about what a string is. So let's first start off with understanding what a string is with reference to Java. In Java, a string is a powerful concept because everything is treated as a string. If you submit any form in window-based, web-based or mobile application or if you read data from a file or console, all these inputs are taken as a string. A string simply put is a sequence of alphanumeric characters. Now this character set could include anything ranging from number, alphabets, to delimiters or even spaces. Strings in Java are objects of the predefined string class java.lang.string. So every time you create a string variable, you are creating an object of this class. String class also provides a lot of methods to work on these strings. Now before we get on these methods, in an object-oriented programming language, Objects are classified as mutable or immutable. Mutable and immutable are English words meaning can change and cannot change respectively. And the meaning of these words remains same in IT context. An immutable object is an object whose state cannot be modified after it is created, while the state of a mutable object can be changed throughout the program. So any string variable in Java cannot be altered after being initialized. When you alter a string in any way, you are actually creating a new string that holds the new value. Now let's move on to declaration and initialization. The first way is pretty simple as you see on the screen. Give the data type followed by the variable name and just initialize the variable with the string value in double quotes. Another way we can do the same is using new keyword as strings are objects. So this was all about strings. Now let's look at the string class in more detail. Like I mentioned before, all strings declared in Java are objects of string class. And this class has 40 plus methods to manipulate strings. By the help of these methods, we can perform operations on strings such as trimming, concatenating, converting, comparing, extracting, copying, replacing, etc. Now, there are three broad categories we can classify all these methods into. Comparison, conversion and search and text processing. Let's take a look at some of the methods in these categories one by one. So starting off with comparison, the four most frequently used string comparison methods are equal, equals ignore case, which will ignore the case of strings while comparison, compare to and compare to ignore case. Talking about conversion methods, we have two uppercase to convert string to uppercase, to lowercase to convert strings to lowercase, parsent to extract the integer value from the string, Similarly, parse float and many more. And finally, we have text processing. A very huge list of methods fall under this category. To name a few, we have trim, replace, split, concat, join, etc. When working with strings, you'll use these functions a lot to make your program easy and fast. So that was all about string and string class guys. I hope the video was interesting and you got some deep insights on what all functions we have in our string classes. Don't forget to subscribe because there are many more interesting videos coming up on the channel. Hit the bell icon on the page so that you keep getting updates on what is coming up next on the channel and don't miss out on anything. Until next time guys, happy coding.